Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Let's get right to our top stories this morning, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. Clark County tried banning short-term house rentals, but officials say more than 6,000 properties defied that ban. Now the state is telling the county to regulate them instead. Starting July 1st of next year, short-term rentals in unincorporated Clark County must be legalized, but that law is drawing criticism. Now, there are those who support short-term rentals but think that the bill is too restrictive, and there are those who don't support short-term rentals who believe that the bill didn't go far enough. Now, what we know is the Nevada Resorts Association was one of the bigger supporters of the bill because they believe that it's only fair that short-term rentals in unincorporated Clark County finally pay um, taxes. Meantime, Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo made it official yesterday. He is running for governor. Lombardo is campaigning for the Republican nomination in 2022's election, setting up a potential showdown with Governor Steve Sisolak. Review Journal's political editor Steve Sebelius tells us how this matchup might play out. Now, it's interesting to note that both Joe Lombardo and Steve Sisolak have a political base down here in Clark County. There's many more Democrats than Republicans down here, but Joe Lombardo has managed to win his sheriff's race with a majority in Clark County, notwithstanding the fact that he's a Republican. But I anticipate that Joe Lombardo will do well outside of Clark County, uh, areas that Steve Sisolak probably will not do well. He has to win very big in Clark County and also uh, win or keep it tight in Washoe County in order to win this race next November. Last year, their children were hit by a pickup truck while they were walking in a crosswalk. Now a couple hopes that they can use their pain to help make roads safer for everyone. Review Journal's Jen Ah has this story. Good morning, Jen. Well, Renee, this is such a heartbreaking story. After losing their children last year, Aaron and Jennifer Bush told the Review Journal pretty much everything they knew and worked for is gone. Their 12-year-old son died, and their daughter, now 10 years old, requires 24-hour care. And that quote, we want to make sure that this never happens again to someone else. According to the State Department of Public Safety Office, Nevada has some of the lowest penalties for distracted driving in the country. First offense carries a $50 fine, and vehicular manslaughter carries a max penalty of up to six months in jail and $1,000 for first-time offenders. During the legislative session, North Las Vegas presented a bill that would double the fines and jail times. For officers to go out there and enforce and then in turn make our roads safer. However, this legislation did not make it out of committee. And since the crash, the Bush family moved to Ohio. At the same time, they've continued their work to support this bill. Renee. Now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. A chance of showers with thunderstorms about 40% mainly after 3 p.m. is forecasted for your Tuesday. Partly sunny skies with a high of near 104 degrees. Rain chances increasing by 50% this evening. Lows in the low 80s. For the rest of the week, we will continue with shower and thunderstorm chances up until Thursday. We'll cool down just a bit on Wednesday, but triple digits will be back by Thursday. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. With COVID-19 on the rise here in Clark County, state and local officials are increasing their efforts to get people vaccinated. Mobile vaccine units will be deployed statewide in urban and rural areas, and pop-up clinics will be scheduled as needed. State employees will be reassigned to support to get out the vaccine effort. Governor Steve Sisolak said in a statement that by working together, quote, we can help bring these case numbers down and ensure our communities are safe. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, Resorts World has drawn rave reviews since it opened on Thursday. But some people who stayed there for the first weekend are not too happy. A local couple said they booked the luxurious Crockford's Hotel for a staycation. But when they got there, they found out that the reservation had been changed to the Hilton Conrad Hotel. Resorts World's executives have said that it's a matter of limited inventory, that they have some rooms available, but not all. What they haven't said is how many rooms are open right now and whether they've booked guests for some rooms that have that weren't ready. Now here's the latest in sports. 
I am pleased to announce that we are planning to return to a normal calendar and schedule with a robust slate of 10 pole events. We will celebrate Honda NHL All-Star Weekend in Las Vegas. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman announced Monday that Las Vegas and the Golden Knights will host the 2022 NHL All-Star Game at T-Mobile Arena. Dates for the All-Star Weekend have not yet been set. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Travel Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Milwaukee Bucks are six-point road favorites over the Atlanta Hawks at the Westgate in today's Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals. The total is 221. The Bucks rallied for a 113-102 victory in Game 3 at Atlanta on Sunday to take a 2-1 series lead. Milwaukee is a minus 1,400 favorite to win the series and advance to the NBA Finals. The Hawks are 2-1 underdogs on the money line to win Game 4 and tie the series. In your lifestyle news sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, lots of people are ready to get out of their homes and get back to work. But how much money will they make when they get there? Stacker Media looked at numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics to find out which jobs pay the least in Las Vegas. It turns out the lowest paying jobs on average are hairdressers, hairstylists, and cosmetologists with an annual salary of over $21,000. Gambling dealers had the second lowest pay according to Stacker, followed by fast food workers and animal caretakers and ushers and ticket takers. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, Sammy Hager is planning a party here in Las Vegas. The rock and roll star announced a residency at the Strat showroom starting October 29th. Tickets go on sale Wednesday. This is really about every night just being special, special, special. And I have the time of my life when I'm on stage. Like, you know, that two hours up there, for me, that's it. You know, it's like I could sleep all day, wake up and go on stage for two hours and go back to bed and be a happy guy. <laughs> Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From all of us here at the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.